Want to go to Paris? I have an opportunity for you to get the chance to go to Paris for free. And here are some of the must-have experiences in Pays that we will explore together. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to SID and Carbon Monoxide. Today, we've got something special for you as we explore the top 10 favorite things to do in the city of love, Paris. But before we dive into our exciting list, don't forget about the promise I made on this channel I'll be taking you on a free trip to Paris in November 2024. So, stay tuned and keep those notifications on. Before that we'll be sharing some fantastic ideas on the top must-have experiences in Paris. Eiffel Tower. Let's kick things off with the iconic Eiffel Tower. It's an absolute must-visit when you're in Paris. The feeling you get when you first lay eyes on this towering beauty is truly magical. And for first-timers, your trip to Paris just wouldn't be complete without a visit to the Eiffel Tower. There are three levels to explore the first floor, the second floor, and the top floor. You can take an elevator to the first and second floors, or if you're feeling adventurous, you can climb the stairs. However, to reach the top floor, you'll need to take the elevator. Keep in mind that taking the stairs is not only a budget-friendly option but also a great way to skip the lines or experience shorter wait times. If you choose to take the stairs, you can always purchase an elevator ticket to reach the top floor. Musée d'Orsay Our next stop is the Musée d'Orsay, which houses the largest collection of Impressionist art in the world. Here, you can admire works by Monet, Manet, Degas, Cézanne, Renoir, Van Gogh, Gauguin, and many more. But it's not just about the art, the building itself is a work of art. The museum is housed in a converted train station, Gare d'Orsay, and it's an architectural marvel. The Louvre. Now, we're headed to the world-famous Louvre Museum. This massive museum was once a royal palace and is now home to countless treasures. You could easily spend days here, but if you're short on time, make sure to check out the highlights, including the Mona Lisa, Venus de Milo, and the Winged Victory. And here's a tip to avoid the long lines. Consider purchasing a museum pass, booking tickets online in advance, or visiting in the morning or on Wednesday and Friday evenings when the Louvre is open late. The Arc de Triomphe. Our next stop is the majestic Arc de Triomphe. Situated at the top of the Champs-Élysées, this iconic monument offers one of the best panoramic views of Paris. From here, you can see landmarks like the Louvre, La Defense, and the Eiffel Tower. And at night, you can witness the magical sparkle of the Eiffel Tower. To make your visit hassle-free, consider booking a skip-the-line ticket, available through Get Your Guide. Dining at a street cafe. Now, let's take a break and enjoy some of the best things Parisian culture has to offer. Dining at a street cafe is an absolute delight. Throughout the city, you'll find charming cafes spilling out onto the streets. Whether you're sipping coffee, enjoying a croissant, or having a glass of wine, it's the perfect way to immerse yourself in the local atmosphere. Notre Dame Cathedral Our next destination is the historic Notre Dame Cathedral, one of the oldest and grandest cathedrals in the world. Step inside to marvel at the stunning stained glass windows, but don't miss the chance to climb to the top for a gargoyle's eye view of Paris. Montmartre and Sacré-Cœur. Let's head to the charming neighborhood of Montmartre, known for its winding streets and artistic vibes. Make sure to visit Place du Tertre, where you can have your portrait drawn. And don't forget to stop by the Sacré-Cœur Basilica, offering breathtaking views of the city from its steps and even better ones from the top of the dome. Le Marais. Le Marais is one of Paris's most interesting neighborhoods, with its small lanes, boutique shops, and delightful cafes. And if you're looking for budget-friendly eats, be sure to visit La du Falafel, one of the most famous falafel restaurants in the area. Walk along the Seine River. Finally, take a leisurely stroll along the Seine River. It's one of the most romantic things you can do in Paris. You can enjoy the view of some iconic bridges, the cityscape, and simply soak in the Parisian charm. Folks our top 10 favorite things to do in Paris. Remember to stay tuned for more updates on our free Paris trip giveaway in November 2024. And as always, we'll be bringing you more ideas and experiences to make your visit to Paris unforgettable. 
Thanks for joining us on and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.